everybody. I'm back out in the bus again. It's a kind of a cold day. Uh, kind of too cold for us to go to work today, so they kind of called us off. Bad part is that probably means another day that I'm going to have to work into December, but oh well. Anyway, on to what all we're doing today. I've got a breaker box to put in. And it's going to be my circuit protection. And also it's going to be protection from having the inverter and the shore power on at the same time, which will destroy your inverter if you were to do that. If you back feed your inverter, 110 volts, 60 hertz going back feeding back into the inverter, there is no possibility that that 60 hertz is going to match up with the 60 hertz coming out of the inverter. There's no way it's going to be in phase. So what you'll do, it'll be out of phase. It will pop the inverter and once it smokes, it's gone. Uh, the circuit protection is not going to, on the inverter is not going to work backwards. <laughs> anyway, let's see what all we can get done. Okay, one thing I need to do, give me a screwdriver behind me there, a straight blade, yeah, thanks. Okay, this breaker box, of course, is for 220, which means it's split. It's a split bus. Uh, it's still covered in plastic, so it really ain't gonna show you much, but, okay. Breakers, of course, this right here is the contact point. You know, of course, you screw into that. That's the contact point that hooks into the bus bar. This back does nothing but hold it, this right here. All the contact happens right here. As you can see, these are two separate bars. Well, you can't really see it that good because you got a piece of plastic, but you can tell the difference. These ones have a, it's raised up so it's going around behind. And it's going to one of these, and then the other two are going to the other one. So it's two phases. Uh, so, you know, if you were hooking this up in a house, you would have two 110 volt phases, which means you would have two 220 volts when you put them together. Like if you use two breakers together, it's 220. All right. Ordinarily, your main feed comes in through these. Well, we're not using the main feed through these because we're going to use the breakers as our transfer switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jumper these two across. I'm just going to take a piece of wire and I'm going to bend it something like that and jumper it between those two screws. Okay, now, these two are hooked together. That means all these breakers are hooked into the same side. So it's one 110 volt panel. It's not a 220 panel anymore. And it's not a main lug panel either. It's, uh, it's back feeding through a breaker. Anyway, that's just one more step.
there is our breaker box. Actually, why does it say lights? It just hit me. That's bugs, not lights. Anyway, okay, now we have our panel box hooked up. Everything is labeled. I changed this one because uh, it wasn't lights. I don't know what I was thinking. It was plugs. I don't have all my lights or uh, 12 volts DC. So I don't know why I have lights wrote down on it. Anyway, okay, got microwave and air conditioner. They'll be on their own circuit. Okay, now we are on inverter. Okay, we have this on. I have AC, or I have shore power plugged in too. And I have the engine running because I was, uh, I run the battery down pretty far. Okay, here you can see by the light right here that the inverter is working. Okay, now I can't turn on shore power because uh, I would blow my inverter. So we'll turn that off, slide that up, turn that on. Now we're on shore power. Okay. I have this one off because I don't have the circuit run for it yet. I don't have the microwave or the air conditioner yet, so um, I'll run the circuit once I get those. Anyway, yeah, so that works. Turn that off, slide that down, and turn that on. You cannot have both of them on at once. So that's what I wanted. As you can see, my light bulb come on. It is plugged straight in over there. So, all right. We have our electrical basically done. Let me show you the outside. Okay, so what I did, I don't have the cord hanging out anywhere on the outside here. I've got it coming out of the battery box. And this actually takes a key. Let me get it here. It takes a key to open. So you can't get into that battery box without the key so you couldn't get in to plug in shore power unless you had the key. Uh, not like anybody is going to be giving me free power but uh, it's just the way I do. <laughs> anyway, this way I can unhook from shore power. Never unplug a cord like that uh, because uh, that puts too much strain on here. Bad example of that. Sorry. But here is the plug. It's just the end of that same extension cord. And it will rest right here. Right inside there. Shut that. Don't know why I put my key up already. And lock it. Now, it's got that. Alrighty, I guess that's going to probably about do it for this video. Got my uh, my AC circuit protection put in. Uh, got uh, got it so that you can only have either shore or inverter, not both at the same time, so you don't pop the inverter. You know, it's always a good thing to not destroy stuff that you paid for. Um, also have circuit protection for the plugs. Have a separate circuit which at some point I'm going to put the microwave in. I still have to get that. I also still have to get an AC unit. I don't know where exactly I'm going to put it, but uh, I'm going to have to have an AC unit. But anyway, uh, that's got us pretty much wired now. Uh, of course, I've left all the covers off of the plugs and stuff until I get all the finish work done, trim, I need to trim around the bottom of the couch when I get my water tank in and all that. I um, also need to fix up my heater ducts for the heater system. To, I'm going to have a heater duct blow out at the end of the sink here, and I'm going to have one come out under the couch, that way it, it kind of evenly heats the inside of the bus. And... Well, I mean, there's a lot of different projects still left. There's a lot of work to do, but uh, I'll eventually get time to do it. Oh, yeah, if you get a chance, uh, you can see I'm wearing a, a sweatshirt from a YouTube channel, The Bearded Giant. Uh, 
he's got a pretty good channel. You ought to check him out. Uh, I'd say if you like my videos, you'll probably like his too. He does some welding and fabricating, and he, he's got a couple of motorcycles. He does, like, he's got a microphone in his helmet, and he rides with a GoPro on his bikes and, you know, talks. And it's kind of an interesting channel, you know. Uh, that's good. Okay, and I guess that's going to be about it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.